Hey, my friends, how's it going? We're going to try to do the primer again. So, hey, thanks for liking and watching, my friends, and welcome to another installment of my Path to the Old World. That's right, my friends, we're going to be priming a few more night goblins, some, beer, uh, some bowmen and spearmen. We're going to try to make this quick. The weather is nice. I only got one can. Now this can is only nine years old, my friend. So I'm hoping for some better results than last time, okay? I got a lot of models on here, okay? I got at least 60 spearmen and like 25 bowmen, okay? So this is gonna be good. This wish me luck. Well, my friends, this feels like it's a lot better, okay? Now, once we get back inside, I'll talk about my first game, okay? I wasn't able to make any videos because uh, I didn't get permission. The store owner wasn't there, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to film without permission, my friends. Did not want to film without permission, but I was able to take some photographs. So I will probably by probably by tomorrow I'll have the video up. You know what? This guy keeps falling off his base, man. He doesn't fit in there good at all. Okay. Now this, my friends, this can feels a lot better. It sure does. Hopefully we'll have enough primer to get these guys all done. But this can feels a lot better. And if you look, I'm not getting that, that paint from the edge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling better about this can. I got a lot of models on this board. Probably too much, my friend. But you know what? I was hoping we can get them all, you know? I got to get painting. <coughs> God, pardon me. All right. Looking pretty good, friends. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this coating. This feels so much better. The, the trigger does not feel as spongy. Yep. Okay, let's give it a second to dry up. Just hit these guys in the front a little bit. Yeah, friends. Yeah, so... Now, I also found out there's an official Warhammer store here in, here in New Mexico, my friend. And it's, it's really close to us. So, probably on Thursday, I'll be going to an actual Warhammer store. Dude, I'm so excited. The last time I set foot into an actual GW store, oh my gosh, was probably in the 90s, my friends. Oh gosh, probably back when I was buying stuff for, um, oh shit, for 6th edition. It's been a long time. It's going to be exciting. I'll film from the parking lot. I don't think they'll let me film inside the store, my friend. I mean, I can ask them, but I don't think they'll let me. But I can film from the parking lot. Oh, dude, this can feels great. Okay, let's let this stuff dry for a second. I don't want to overdo it and try to spray too much and have it fill the details. But for my friends, from the looks of it, oh, God, I'm getting some great coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this... This is definitely covering a lot better, my friends. This can. So I would say, I know, I wouldn't go more than nine years old. So basically what I'll probably do, when I go back to the GW, when I go to GW store, I'll probably buy some primer. I did pick up a couple of paints at our local indie store. Oh, dude, I'm very happy with this. This feels so good. Look, my fingers aren't even dirty, dude. This can's in great shape. We got a lot of guys primers. I got a couple of command groups in here. <clears throat> I got enough troops. Okay, how is it looking? Oh, God, my friends, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Um, oh, here you know. I got to get these guys a little bit right here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, my friends. We're almost ready to go upstairs. Okay, let's take a look really quick. 
Yeah, my friends, that is some good coverage. This can is definitely in a lot better condition than that other one was. Let's make sure we got all... Okay. Well, you know what? We got to hit... We got to hit these Bowman in the middle because the back of them look like a light gray and not a black, okay? I figure one more coat on everything and we should be ready to go upstairs. Yeah, my friends, this can is a lot better. A lot better coverage. The, the button feels really good. Yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's about it, my friends. I'm ready. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I spoke too soon. Look at that, my friends. I spoke too soon. The same thing happened as last time. I made that poopy noise, and then the paints kind of came out. Thank goodness we didn't have a big mess. Okay, so now we're done with the old cans. So next time around, we'll have brand new primer, and we shouldn't have this problem. Okay, my friends, we'll see you upstairs, okay? We'll see you in just a minute. Hey, my friends, how's it going? How is it going? Oh, my glass is a little dirty. Give me one second. Hey, my friends. Thank you for watching and liking. And if you can, please, please subscribe. Welcome back from being outside. All right, friends. So here's what we got. So I got a bunch of guys primered in the other room. I got my cup of black licorice tea. We got about... 35 minutes, about 40 minutes together, friends. So let's see what we can do. So I bought some paints, okay? So I'm going to do red hoods. And then I got a layer and a contrast. And then I got a metallic. And I got a couple of paints that still work, okay? Not all my paints are bad, just some. <laughs> God, pardon me. Okay, the cool part about it is is I get to use this again. This was a Christmas gift from my wife. A, a God, like a decade or so back. Back, I got this in 8th edition, friends. This thing was so dusty when I took it out of the box. Okay, so we're going to get painting. So what we're going to be working on is the hand weapons and shield guys, okay? Now, I still have to um, glue on the shields. I still got to prime the shields. But what we're going to do with those guys, you just glue them onto the forearm, okay? So we're not really going to worry about those guys too much. You know, we'll do all the shields at once, okay? So we want to, hold on. We want the old school guys. That's the ones they're painting of the old guys. Yeah, my friends. So I played my, hold on. Give me a second. I'll lay these down. That way I can look you guys in the eye and tell you how my game went, okay? Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, yeah. I almost won, my friends. I was actually winning. I was actually doing really good until the fanatics. Yep, yep, yep. Friendly fire, my friends. My own guys did me in. Yeah, I just misplayed them. I didn't play them good. I didn't do did a good enough job with them. Okay, here we go. This is the... Uh, Okay, <clears throat> God, pardon me. So, yeah, my friends. So I had I had my first 500 point game. I guess my friend Jesse's a uh, lizard man. So basically, it was um. It was two groups of skinks with javelins that had like a 12 inch range. Okay, and then it was a group of Saurus warriors with the Saurus uh, warrior champion in there, right? Pretty hard-hitting group. I came in with five squid hoppers. Well, you saw my video. Okay, so basically, he was pulling his guys in. I'll show you. But basically, generally it was, as he was coming in with side and shoot me with javelins. I was doing itchy nuisance and hitting them with bowls. That really helped a lot, my friend, with the with the with the with the night goblins' low ballistic skills. Having um. 
Okay, so this is going to be the one I clean my water with. Okay. All right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically, you know what we're going to do? Hold on. Yeah, this is this works. So, yeah. So, he had one skinks. So, this is me facing this direction. So, he had the skinks and javelins on this side, right? Then he brought some other skinks on this side. I was going to try to do the, like the horns on me. Get me in the pinchers, right? <clears throat> God, pardon me. So, uh, now, the paintbrushes I'm using, my friends, are gumbacher, okay? So, sometimes, okay, you're only as good as your tools, my friend. So, it's best to invest in good paintbrushes, okay? You know, you want to, okay, it's okay to use the cheaper chain paintbrushes on... Um, like terrain items or stuff that's not going to matter as much, okay? Now, the reason why these brushes are a little nicer, because these are going to be, this is real animal hair, okay? So it's going to hold its shape a lot nicer, you know, that kind of stuff, okay? I got to bring the light down a little bit so my old man eyes can see. Okay, so yeah, basically, my friends, is we're going to be working on the, ooh, that's nice. Yeah. So, what the deal was, is he tried to do the pinchers on me, and then so, I had uh, two characters, and I had two characters with my unit of hand weapon shields with the full command. I was like, I don't know, it was a couple wide, you know. That was a pretty good formation. So, what it was, is so basically, I messed up on my movement, okay. So I still got to get down the phases, okay? So basically, I kind of shot my guys out a little too soon. And so um, what happened was, was my squid hoppers actually charged through the fanatic, right? Because they, they were going for the general's unit, okay? And uh, I shot one forward. And so after that... So luckily, my friends, luckily, nothing happened to the squid hoppers. I mean, they, they came out unfazed because uh, basically the, the fanatic rolled a one. So he didn't get nothing at all. Thank goodness for that, okay? It was so, it was, I was so lucky. I was so lucky, my friends. There we go. That's looking pretty good so far. And then I got a contrast paint. The guy was telling me about contrast paints. I want to, uh, so I'm going to give those a try. Okay, so, so basically, now, the squid hopper unit was 66 points, right? And they got, oh, they only lasted one turn, okay? So once the Saurus Warriors uh, were able to strike back, you know, the, man, they, they were gone, okay? They were gone. But that's okay, because... My 66 points of, um, of squid hoppers took out 120 points of the Saurus Warriors and forced them to take a test, okay, which he passed. Okay, so then my fanatic, instead of going forward, comes straight back at me. It's like, oh my gosh, right? So, it's, But he falls short, okay? So now um, I'm still shooting at the skink unit. They're throwing javelins on me, but they're not doing pretty good, you know, because um, the the itchy nuisance is a great spell, my friend. You know, it makes them it makes their strength and their toughness minus one, so it's awesome. So it makes them harder to hit me, and it makes it easier for me to hit them. It's a great spell. I, I really love the hexes and buffs, my friends. That's the way to go. Yeah, it really helps out your your units. So yeah, so that's what basically happened. So, and then I had, so I had, because I had my wizard, my shaman, a level one of shaman, and then, you know, in with the bowman. And they were just, like, basically just, you know, whittling those guys down little by little, you know. It wasn't, like, big kills, but it was like one or two guys at a time. Enough to, you know, enough to make a difference, okay. And then, okay, I, I got to make sure I'm not painting on his hood. Now, I'm going to give these guys, 
I'm thinking about giving these guys red hoods, okay? Well, that's going to look really nice. Yep. Thinking about giving these guys red hoods. I usually have a wet palette, but I got to unpack it, okay? It's still packed in the box. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Because sometimes it's too easy to make the paint too runny. With the wet palette, you have the moist layer you're putting your paint on, and it keeps your paint moist without making it watery. Which is crucial because you want your paint creamy and smooth so it blows. But you don't want it so watery where it's going to pull up on stuff, okay? You got to make sure you give your paintbrush a twist so you keep a point. You want to you want to keep paint off the metal part, you know? You don't want it on there, you know? Because then it seeps in and messes up. So you just want to keep your paint on the tip, you know? That's where it's made to... So, and then, yeah, so it just flows nice. You're just moving it around the surface. These guys are going to be so easy to paint because, you know, they got the black. They're all in black. So, it's just a few details like the bracelets, you know, the weapons. That's why I want to give them red hoods because I'm worried they're going to be a big blob, okay? Now, we're not going to get them all painted today, but the good thing is, my friends, we're getting a start, okay? Now, my friend Jesse was able to, uh, to get the rules for the Bretonians, so now she can um, have like a, a, a core set. So we're both going to have core armies now. It's going to be nice. But now, I'm going to have to deal with a unit of horse. You know, basically, I'm going to have to face the lance formation at 500 points. But it's going to be brutal. She's going to have, uh, the Bretonians will have magic at 500 points as well. I just got to learn how to use the fanatics better. Oh, yeah, so back to the story of the game. So, basically, um, this unit of skinks on this side will shoot at me. I'm whittling them down. This one comes this way, and then I shoot a fanatic out the side. Got two fanatics, okay? Now, that fanatic actually did its job, went through the unit of skinks with javelins, killed half of them, and made them take a panic test. <clears throat> and pretty much they ran off, you know. They never recovered. That unit was gone. They never even attacked me, but like how fanatics want to do, they start moving back this way. So unfortunately, my friend, these guys are still being ahead of bay. I had plenty of, I had pretty much had almost a full unit of my hand whipping the shields. I had both my characters. We were going to have some rock and hand-to-hand -hand combat. We were both in charge range, okay? But the crazy thing was, my friends, is the stupid fanatics went first. I had one go through the unit this way, one go through the unit this way, and they decimated my guys, dude. They took out pretty much all my guys except for the front two rows. So that was a total, even, you know, that was a panic test right there, my friend. I, I, I didn't succeed. You know, I failed. And that was the end of the game, you know. So, but it was still, you know, it was a lot of fun. Now, we also spent a lot of time um, looking up the rules. But that's okay, because we were expecting that. Now, the Fanatics were pretty kind of big. Now, my friends, I got to tell you, Fanatics are awesome now. They're awesome, because before, they used to come out at random, right? Once, once your, you know, your opponent used to be able to trigger them, if you had them, if they got within a certain uh, distance. Now, you can let them go, you know, when you want. So, I just played them wrong. See what it is, my friends? Is I'm still playing like I'm in 8th edition. Okay, that's guy, that guy's good to start, you know. So, yeah, I'm still playing like I'm in 8th edition, friends. I'm going to give, um... I'll give these guys, I don't know. I really want to give these guys red hoods. I'm thinking about giving the whole army red hoods. I think that would give them a cool look. So, of course, what we're going to do is, once we're done, you know painting the skin, then basically we'll dry brush a light gray highlight or dark gray highlight on the robes. We'll hit the we'll hit the we'll hit the the hood with the red. It's not gonna take much to get these guys table ready, okay? Because you know, these are just these are my troops. 
you know, not to diminish the role, but I'm going to put all the effort into the, the command group, you know, the command group, the characters, the units that have fewer numbers. See, the reason why I'm giving these guys red hoods, because I noticed when I had them set out, they're just a big old black blob, you know, they need to stand out. Now, yellow hoods would look cool, but that would be a lot of painting. That would take a couple of different coats to get the yellow hoods to work. Yeah. God, it's been forever since I painted a miniature, my friend. Eighth edition. Eighth edition was the last time I was painting minis, man. I used to take this thing here with me, be on the couch. Me and my honey pie be watching movies. I'd have it in bed while she was on, while she was like reading the book. You know, good times, friends. Good times. I get to relive that all again. So, hold on. Once I get done, so I so I was able to borrow the rule book from my best friend. So she's gonna let me borrow the rule book. I have it over there, okay? So, I'll start reading through it. Now, of course, all the orc stuff sold out. But that's okay, because um, most of it I have. Now, I do want to get some stuff. Because, I, you know, the stuff, some stuff is on pre-order. And I got paid this week. So, once I get the bills paid, I'll see what kind of budget I have, okay? What I should be buying, my friends... Is I should be buying some more primer. You know, I should be buying a few more paints. I should actually be buying some more supplies to get the guys I have already made on the table. But you know, that's not how it is. You know, I want the new shinies. What I really want, my friends, I want the cards, okay? That would be so helpful. Because then I can put the card down next to the unit. So that way uh, my, my, uh, the, my opponent and myself can both see it, you know. Or I can see it. Either way, you know, but you know what it is. I just want to buy stuff. Not going to lie, my friends. I just want to buy stuff. I'm so excited this game's back in production. And I just want to buy things. What I really want, my friends, is I want that Bone Grinder Giant for $230. Because, you see, I already have the Metal Giant. I have the Plastic Giant. And I have... So right now, I have three Giants, okay? And they're all the official Giants, okay? Now, I would love... To have that, that bone grinder giant, my friends. That would be so awesome. Okay. So, that's good. That's $230 in U.S. funds. Okay. Ha! Now, that's, that's quite a chunk of change. So, I'm trying to figure out how I can pull that off. Okay. There's not a lot of stuff I need from the new line. It's mostly some of the, it's mostly the character models, my friends. Like, I have a lot of the troops. I have a lot of the... Of the war machines, what basically what I didn't didn't don't what I didn't have the first time around was all the Forge World stuff. Okay, these guys are gonna look pretty good. I'm not painting fast. It's okay. Mostly, my friends, it's not about the race. It's about getting to the finish line. It's about spending this quality time together, my friends, and sharing this hobby and this love we have. You know, because I know if you're like me in the real world, not that many. People you are going to know what you're about. You're going to try to tell them about Warhammer, and they're not going to know about Wargaming. At least that's how it was for me. It might be different now, my friends, because... Let's let that soak for a second. My friends, everything I tell you, all my experiences with this game... Man, I'm telling you old man stories. I'm telling you stuff that happened 10 years ago. Like, for example, I kept talking about how I had to drive to Denver to go to a GW store. And little did I know, there's one like a half hour away. <laughs> Who knows how long that's been there? I don't know. Because I wasn't into Warhammer anymore. So, whatever I tell you, my friends, it's just my old experiences, okay? I'll have some cool stories to tell about the past. But you know, for this present situation, how the old world's coming out now, you know, it's, it's all brand new to me. And it feels good. It feels good. It was like really, I cannot tell you how good it felt 
to move my troops around on a table and roll dice and have to measure. My friends, it felt good in here. In here. Sure did. Sure did, friends. All right. I got some browns. I got a red. So basically, we'll do a lot of the handles and browns. I got one metallic color. I'll probably pick up a couple of paints at the GW store. That's why I didn't really go full hog, you know. I got a whole drawer full of paints I have to go through. And the stuff in the bag, a lot of that was dried out already, okay? So... What's nice about these sable brushes is they hold their tip and they hold the paint really well, okay? But you got to make sure you don't smash. You kind of stroke with them. You don't smash with your paintbrush because that's how you mess up the hairs. Now, there's a uh, special paint cleaner stuff I get. I need to go buy some more. Now, once you're done with your brush, it's almost like a mustache wax kind of thing for your paintbrushes. It's a Mona Lisa. God, I hope they still make it. I'm talking about a product I bought 10 years ago. I already had trouble finding the glue I used to love to use, my friend. Nope, can't, I can't find that anymore. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's okay if I get a little on the hoods. As long as I wipe it off right away, because I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go red hoods on these guys. I'll make them stand out really nice. Yeah, so far I got two guys painted. That's okay. Like I said, it's all about the hangout time. But yeah, my friends, I was so close to winning that game. I should have won. But that, you know, but the thing about it is, it doesn't matter that I won because I had a lot of fun. I got to meet some. Oh, also, another great part about it was, as one of the guys I used to play Warhammer with came in the store, right? And we talked about the game where we had the orc on orc battle. It was fun, man. It was great to see them. It was great to see my friends. I can't wait to see my other buddies who I haven't seen in over a decade, you know? It's just hard because they all... Uh, me and my friend Jesse were like the oldest in the crowd, okay? So we were like the old man's of the group from the very start, right? So a lot of them, a lot of my friends that, that played, you know, games and stuff were family guys. Had a full job, had young kids, you know... So that's why after the Warhammer thing, it just didn't really seem as much. We all had busy lives. You know, we'd say hi to each other if we see each other in the store. They went, to, see, they started playing bolt action. And I just wasn't into playing another game, my friend. I had so much invested in Warhammer, you know. So I just figured I was going to make the jump to Age of Sigmar. And, you know, just couldn't find a plane base. And then I figured, you know what, I'll just use these for D&D. And then, you know, just, you know, just people stop coming over. We stop we just weren't playing games for a while. But everything's getting back to normal. It's awesome. See, this is nice. This is nice and creamy. As long as I keep twirling my brush and keeping the paint at the tip, it flows really nice. See, it's best to spend money on good brushes, okay? And, you know, and all you do is just go to your local art store, okay? Go to your local art store. And you can buy, you know, you can buy, like, I, what I, how much was this paintbrush? So, you know, maybe, you know, this is probably like an 8 or $10 brush. Maybe a little bit more now. But, man, you know, you got to have good brushes, okay? You got to have the good tools. I'll have to get some black. I'll probably do a little bit of touch up here and there. I didn't really buy any black paint. Like I said, I, I was on a limited budget when I went to uh, the game store last time around. It wasn't my payday, okay? I only had about 20 bucks to spend, okay? And, and I didn't go far. I bought one, two, three, I bought four paints, and it was like 2136. I was a little surprised. But like I said, it's been 10 years since I bought this stuff, my friend, so I'm going to have sticker shock. Now, thank goodness I have a lot of the models already, okay? So, 
I'm not going to be spending too much money on models. I'll be spending more money on bases and supplies. Hey, how are we doing on time? Hey, we, we still got about a good 15 minutes, friends. We're doing all right. Now, I did see a video where this nice gentleman was talking about how um, they're going to start, you know, expanding the game and that, you know, GW was surprised that everybody wanted to play fantasy again, you know. Thank goodness they do. I'm glad. I'm glad that it's, you know, I'm bummed out that it's selling out all the time. But the fact that every time they put it on the market, it sells out, is sending GW a message that they understand. And that's making the coin, my friend. You know, that's how GW is going to support our hobbies, is by seeing we want to spend the money on it. You know, I can imagine somewhere in a boardroom, there's some guys freaking out saying, how come we don't have books? How come we don't have this? How, you know, these scalpers are getting our money, blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe not, but I imagine so. If I was the head of the company, I'd be thinking that. <laughs> but, I never would have let fantasy die. I would have just made it a specialty game from the start, and then I would have sold the old stock, you know. Had the, I, would have, I would have made it a specialist game right from the very start, my friend. Sell through the old stock, you know. You wouldn't have alienated your fan base. But what do I know? I'm just a, I'm just a guy. But thank goodness it's back, my friends. It's back. Okay, I got to give this a little bit of water. I'm getting some frayed edges on the side. Because uh, that's why you got to keep it clean. So you keep your shape. And I don't need a lot of water to keep it flowing. Just enough to keep it creamy. Since it's a brand new paint, it flows really nice. All right. Thank goodness there's not much to paint. Now the orcs, those guys are going to take a lot more green paint. But in a way, they'll be actually easier to paint. Because I don't have to be so careful with not trying to get the hood dirty and, and any little custom features, I can always paint over, you know. If everybody wanted to be lazy about it, I can just go all green, bam, 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 bam. The green's a neutral base. I can paint other colors over that. Usually in oil painting, when you're painting portraits, you would use a green undercoating anyways to make the flesh tones look a little more real. In a way, it's, it's weird because they're easier to paint because they got the black hoods, but I have to be more careful. You know, it's a balance. Dude, I can't wait. So my next game, I'll be facing Bretonians. So I'm thinking about, what I'm thinking about doing, my friends, is, you know, because my friend Jessie is writing, is writing her list because she's expecting me to be bringing in, you know, like, you know, like green skins, like my night goblins. I'm thinking about taking my vampire counts and throwing together a quick 500 point force and seeing what we can do. I don't know. It would just be fun. It would throw, I don't know. I'm going to have a couple of different armies to play with. But if I brought vampire counts... I'd be able to bring some kind of cavalry, or I could always bring in spider riders. I can bring those in. Okay. All right. So that it's kind of a shame that um, most of the shield arm gets covered up. Now. He has like a little wrist, a little, little like a little armband. Now I'm not, I'm thinking about just totally skipping that because once you put the shield on, you can't even see the armband. But I do want to paint the skin on the arm. 
because even though most of that's covered up, we don't want to be like, you know, taking that many shortcuts. It's different if I don't paint like a little thin band around his wrist, you know. I could actually even leave that black. But I'm not going to skimp on, on the arms and stuff, you know. Because you got to figure this is all getting to be looked, you know, it's, it's tabletop down view for these guys. So when I do my dry brushing, I'll dry brush from the top. So you get like, so with the lighter gray, so you get like a highlight from the top. And that'll make them stand out. And the red hood's going to help a lot too. I was thinking about putting that traditional striping on the edge like they do. But I don't know. That's a lot of work, my friends. Because, you know, I got a lot of night goblins. I got a lot. And I got, I got like, oh, geez, I got, what did I count? Like 130 bowl of spearmen? That, uh, so I, 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 I'm going to have to order more bases anyway, so. It's looking nice, my friend. I can't wait. Now, this arm has a nice uh, spiked wristband. Now, that, of course, you know, that, that's going to get some ta care taken. That'll get painted and washed. It's just the shield arm I have a little more flexibility with. And I can take some shortcuts with that arm because, you know, once I glue the shield on, you don't even see the, you barely even see his hand. So I'm going to basically skip the wristband and this is the wide version. There's, there's like three different wristband types on these guys. So the real skinny one, we'll see. I don't know. I can always hit it when I'm hitting the weapon. It all depends. All depends on how, um, you know, how much I want to get into it. Like I said... These are my troop guys, so my whole goal, my whole goal right now is just to get these guys table ready. I can always come back and hit them some more, you know. I'm not going to be spraying a sealer on them. Okay, so far I've gotten like four guys done. But you know what? I'm out of shape, my friend. Kind of think about it like I'm a marathon runner, okay? So I used to run marathons all the time. And now I haven't ran in 10 years, almost 15 years. And here I am trying to get back into a race as an old man. Of course, I'm not going to run as fast. I might know the tricks on how to run fast, lean forward, you know, breathe through your nose. But will my body let me? You know, like already, you know, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, my friends, I wasn't even wearing these. 10 years ago, 10 years ago I didn't need bifocals. You know, that's when I stopped, you know, I used to do a lot of artwork, like real artwork, a real painter, you know, real paints, you know. And, but, like, you know, you know, as you get older, your vision goes bad. Because your corners start to, your retina, you know, your, your, your eyes get old. They get old and worn out, you know. I'm not going to get all scientific on you, because I don't know the right terms. How are we doing on time, my friends? Oh, God, we got about, maybe about ten minutes, okay? Nine minutes. This has been really wonderful, friends. I can't, you know, now my next game I'll do better. The fact that I got the rule book is really going to help. Because see, what messed me up was at the beginning stage, I got my phases wrong. You know, the, the strategic phase, the random movement phase. So I'll, I'll know better now, you know. That's okay, because like I said, it's not about the winning. It's about having fun with your friends. Now the fact to the point that I was almost winning, you know, was awesome. The fact said that, um... That was my fanatics that killed me. It's classic orc and goblins, my friend. So I lost in a classic way. <clears throat> by, my, oh, by my own fanatics, you know. So that's okay. That made it funny. That made it fun. I wish we could have recorded that game. But you know what, my friends? That's going to happen again. I was going to paint the spearmen. Because those guys go a little faster. But um, it still felt like paint, man. And, and when my wife came in here, she says, oh, it smells like paint in here. You kind of need to get them out of here, you know. So I did, you know. I'll be working on those guys later. So now that the fact that we have a lot of guys primered and ready to go, which means we'll be spending more time together. Okay, so now, so now that I got a bunch of the night goblins, primer and on their bases so once i use up 
my bag of 100 bases, then I'll start using up my 100 bases for the orcs. I still have the fifth edition. I still have um, this edition box that's right here on my side. I still, or is it the older one? Okay. I still have the contents from a battalion box. It was either the, the sixth or seventh edition one, okay? And my memory's a little hazy, but I still have the contents of that box unassembled, okay? So that, my friends, will be our next project. So once we get the gobbles, so what it is, my friends, is I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be working on a thousand points at a time, okay? So what my goal is, is to get a thousand points painted and then go to the next thousand points because that would be an easy army to get ready. Because see, this, cause see, last time in, in regular Warhammer, my friends, I always had the gray plastic, okay? So, I mean, so I really did. I always, I was always unpainted, half painted, you know. You know, so I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be, I want to be, I want to have a nice army. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys and try to play some game in the GW stores. I'm not going to tell them where I got these bases from, okay? I'm not going to mention I got them from a third party. Not, oh, you know, you know, if GW wasn't charging 50 cents a base, I would have gladly bought them from them, you know? But God, man, that's unreasonable. That is unreasonable to pay $50 for 100 plastic bases. I'm buying these things for, God, like, you know, Oh, there's my alarm. Hold on. So, my friends, we got like five minutes to spend, okay? So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit this last guy. He only, we only got like five guys going. But you know what? It was mostly about hanging out. So, now that I got this set up, I can start working on guys all the time now. So, hopefully... The next time you see me, we'll have most of these guys all painted green already. And then we can work on another color. Maybe we'll hit them all with the contrast. I don't know. I want to show progress on my models every time we spend time together. I mean, I could have made another video earlier, but I didn't have nothing to do other than sit there and talk, my friends. In the last video... We wrote a list together, okay? I really want to have these videos be like a a video journey in my journal on how I, you know, how I restarted. So it's important to me to have something new each time. <laughs> Not just sitting around talking. I want to have each video taking me closer to big games, you know, to painted models, you know. So... But, I am keeping my promise, my friends, of a video every week. Now, I did kind of push it this week, but my friends, this wasn't a good week for me, okay? Hold on, I'll talk to you in a second. I'll hit the, I'll hit the snooze button one more time, okay? Because we got to clean our brushes. You always clean your brushes. You never leave them dirty. You never leave them soaking in the water. See, the reason why you don't leave them soaking in the water, because what happens is, is your brush will soak up the water, and it will start to warp the wood underneath the hilt there. And then also, once that starts happening, then it lets go of the glue, and you'll start losing hairs. All right. Not bad. Five guys. Could have been more. Could have been more. It's okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, my friends. I mentioned before I've had heart issues. And that's why I've been trying to push to get monetized. And, you know, that's why I'm having ads. I'm trying to balance them out. That's not too much. Okay, my friends. On Easter Sunday, they had to take me out of my job in an ambulance, okay? I, I, so I have a deal thing where I just like, my body just lets go and I, and I just like, I, I just, I just, 
I, I faint. I just faint because I have low blood pressure. And so, hey, you know, you can't see it now, but I had a bunch of bruises in my arm. But my friends, you know, I'm 60 years old and I have major health issues. So, I'm, I go to the doctor tomorrow and I'm probably going to, you know, have to cut down work even more. I already went down from five to four days, but four days is still kicking my butt, my friends. You know, it's not good, you know. You know, it's not good. I, I black out, you know. I was starting to get, like, the, the heart attack kind of feeling things. I had to take one of my nitroglycerin pills. That was scary, dudes. I'm not going to lie, my friends. I was scared. But thank God I'm still around and nothing happened. And so... This is why I push so hard to be monetized. So, because I knew that my days of working are numbered, okay? I don't expect to be able to quit my job and, and live off of ads, but, you know, I'll make enough to pay the utility bill. And that'll help take the edge off, you know? And then I get to do this. I get to hang out with you guys. And, you know, uh, this is you're going to see more of this content, my friend. You'll see more and more Hammer stuff coming up. Because now I got guys to paint. You know, maybe, you know, I'm still going to try to do two videos a week, okay? I had another video planned. I was going to make a video montage of my game and do this painting video. But like I said, I ended up in the hospital, you know, for like about good three or four hours, okay? And then the day after, man, my friends, I, I couldn't do nothing. I just laid down. I made a video last night because I slept the whole day. But my friends, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me in my Warhammer journey. Now I gotta go because I'm gonna do my Animal Crossing stream in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I already had some nice homemade soup earlier before I made this video. So I'm good to go, you know. My friends, I'm serious about my YouTube, uh, about being a YouTube uh, content creator. I take this thing very seriously. My friends, this is going to be my retirement job. You know, spending time with you, paying up my troops and, you know, doing my games and playing my video games. You know, this is because, you know what, I don't know how to rest. I, I, it's hard. And that's what's killing me, my friends, is because I'm hardwired. I'm all hyper like the Energizer Bunny, but my batteries are wearing out. So I got to learn to pull back. And, and this is how I'm going to do it right here. Hanging out with you, my friends. Painting the little guys. So you know what? See you later, friends. Have an awesome day. Sorry to unload this on you, but I'm, I'm kind of worried, you know. And you guys are my friends. And, and I just want to tell you why there's so many ads. I try to tone it down. If there's too many ads, let me know in the comments. They're showing a lot of ads in my videos. I guess that's a good sign. But let me know if it's too much, okay? Please, I don't want to scare you away with all the ads. It isn't like I'm making giant big money anyways, but man, it all helps. But you know what helps a lot? Is you guys liking and subscribing and watching my videos. 